Hello, it's Lucy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you my experience attending the Grace Hopper Celebration 2022 in Orlando, Florida. So what is the Grace Hopper Celebration? If you look up the definition online, it says that it's a series of conferences designed to bring the research and career interests of women in computing to the forefront. It is the world's largest gathering of women in computing. And I can definitely attest to that. There were so many smart, talented, amazing women in that conference that it was overwhelming in the best way possible. So there were so many opportunities to go to tech talks, hear people talk about their research, technical workshops to increase your skills, um, networking events, and the expo hall where you could go to this huge room with companies set up with their different booths and you can go and visit each booth, talk to recruiters, software developers, managers um, to learn more about the companies and apply and possibly get an interview. Um, so this is a great opportunity for people looking for internships and new grad roles um, and early career roles. So. Personally, I was able to get a number of different interviews that led to internship offers, which I'll share about in a little bit. So let's get started. My flight left Chicago in the morning and we got to Orlando midday. Here is the Hyatt Regency hotel that we are staying at. I had one roommate and she was also from Northwestern University. And the location was super convenient because it was right next door to the Orange County Convention Center where most of the events were taking place. So we grabbed something to eat and then went off exploring. So as you can see here, this is how we got to the Convention Center. We took the Sky Bridge, um, which led directly to the entrance of the Convention Center where I went and registered and grabbed my badge. And here's what it looks like, super cool. Um, if you go up the escalators, you can go to the expo hall and this is where all of the big companies set up booths so you can go and talk to them, talk to recruiters, get your resume in. Um, it was really neat. It was definitely super crowded and a lot of the big companies had really long lines to wait in. So it often helped to come early in the morning or maybe later in the afternoon when the crowds died down. Since it was my first day, I tried to get to as many companies as possible so that I could introduce myself and so that I could get all the swag before it ran out. So here you can see me walking down the escalator with two full bags of swag. I want to point out that around a month before the conference actually started, I would uploaded my resume to the Grace Hopper database. And my reason for doing so was so that companies could look at my resume and see if they were interested in me before the conference had actually started. And many of those companies reached out to me via email and asked me to start their interview process or to apply to their internships. So I started actually interviewing around a month before the conference started. And in particular, Dropbox had reached out to me to complete their coding challenge. And it took around two or three hours. And then afterwards, I found out that I was moved on to the next round. So I actually attended an info session to learn more about Dropbox and their culture. And then after that, I had an interview with a recruiter to just learn more about myself. Um, and then after that, I had a final round interview, which was three or four hours long, and it was with three different interviewers. Um, so the first one was a software engineer, and I was asked to do a coding challenge and explain um, kind of my thought process and time complexities and build off of it on how I could improve it. And then my second interview was with another software engineer, and I was asked to do a code review. 
So for example, it was kind of like if I was working at Dropbox and one of my coworkers had submitted um, a PR, then I would give it a code review and kind of look at the code and see what's wrong, what could be fixed, what could be cleaned up and just give feedback. And then the final interview was with a software engineering manager and he asked me a number of technical questions and behavioral questions about my past experiences. And then after all of that was done, I heard back a couple of weeks later, um, actually right before the conference had started that they extended an offer to me. Um, so I was super excited about that. And I had also found out that they had invited me to um, Disney World, specifically in Epcot for a night for only people who had offers for the following year. So um, it was a much more like private event where I could really get to know a lot of the Dropbox employees. Um, so I'll share more of that now. I met up with the other Dropboxers at the front of Epcot and see if you can spot me in the first row. Then we headed into the park and it was really beautiful outside because the sun was setting. And then we found ourselves a seat at the tables and waiting for me was an envelope with my name on it and a really sweet letter that was written and signed by all of the people who attended the Grace Hopper conference. And I also received a cute little travel jewelry box that has Dropbox's logo on it. There was an all-you-can-eat buffet and dessert bar and afterwards we headed off to see the fireworks. To finish off the night, we played some get to know you bingo and I wound up winning this Bluetooth speaker. So it was a great way to end the night. Day two, I got up around 9 a.m., got dressed and headed back to the expo hall. There were a lot of other companies that I wanted to talk to and some of them had some really cool booths and picture taking opportunities. Like for example, Tesla brought in one of their electric cars and Ford also brought one of their electric cars. Um, so I went and walked around for a bit and I also had lunch. So if you can see in the back of the room, there are a lot of different food options and I had a stipend that I could use to get food. So here I got some tacos and then here is my haul from the second day. So I just finished my interview with Adobe and I believe it was the final round. I spoke to an engineering manager on the digital experience team and it was super interesting learning about the work that they do. Um, I think the interview went pretty well so I'll just be waiting to hear back from the recruiter. And then this morning I went to the expo hall and talked to some more companies, got some more swag, ate lunch. And then this afternoon, I have one more meeting. And then tonight, I have a few, a few events that I want to go to. So I'll keep you guys updated. Here I am at the Hampton Social for Roblox's networking event. As you can see, they had a DJ and they also had employees walking around so you could network with them. They also had a bar where they were making drinks. So here are my friends and I cheering. And then they also had some appetizers being passed around, a dessert bar, and they also had these cute little Roblox shaped cookies. On day three, I had two interviews scheduled, so I got up, got dressed, and got ready. So I just finished my coding challenge interview with another software engineer at Atlassian and I think it went pretty well. 
Um, I got some good feedback and I got to ask a lot of questions at the end and learn more about Alassian. Um, so yeah, I had a great meeting overall and then I have my next interview, um, which I believe is a final round with Goldman Sachs coming up. So I'm going to get ready for that and I'll keep you guys updated. I had a little longer of a walk to get to my Goldman Sachs interview. It took place in the one-on-one -on -one meeting hall and they have a whole map so that you can figure out where your interview actually takes place. And this is what the hall looks like. As you can see, all the booths look the same. My interview with Goldman Sachs went really well, although when I first got there, I felt very overdressed because I was in a full blazer, black pants, and heels, and my interviewers were just wearing t-shirts, jeans, and sneakers, which I found out is the norm when they go to work. Um, so it's really cool that Goldman Sachs has like a casual dress code. Um, but anyways, once my interview started, I started by introducing ourselves, and then they gave me a few coding challenges to complete each one building off the other one and getting progressively harder. Um, and I felt like I did pretty good on those. And then it moved on to behavioral and technical questions where they asked me about my past experiences. Um, and then the interview finished and actually like 20 minutes, or maybe not even that, like after my interview, I received an email from the recruiter asking me to come back the next day for a final round interview. Um, so I was super excited about that and I'll share more later. Directly afterwards, I hopped on a bus to get to Disney. They gave us these Magic Plus wristbands and then got us direct entrance into the park. We had fast pass to go straight to their new Ratatouille ride, which was definitely a neat experience. They had us try on these 3D glasses and wear them throughout the duration of the ride. No. A simple omelet? Too simple. What? May we? That's it! After the ride, we walked over to a private venue where they had all-you-can-eat buffet and dessert. And right as the fireworks were starting, our wristbands began to buzz and light up in time with the fireworks and the music. Day four, I had two final round interviews scheduled and it was the last full day at the conference. My final round interview with Goldman Sachs went really well. I was interviewed by a senior engineering manager and she was so incredible. She had almost 20 years of experience at Goldman Sachs and she had experience in software engineering, cloud services, DevOps, like you name it. Um, so it was really cool to talk to her about my experiences and her experiences. And it honestly really felt like more of a conversation rather than an interview. Um, which is always a good sign because it just shows that you're a good culture fit, you're easy to talk to. Um, so yeah, I felt like the interview went really well and I actually wound up receiving the offer that next day. Um, so yeah, I was super excited about that. Directly after my final round with Goldman Sachs, I had another final round with JP Morgan and they were literally back to back. So I was running across the conference trying to make my JP Morgan interview. And when I got there, it started right away. Um, it lasted for a few hours and I had three different interviews with three different people. So my first interview was a coding challenge style question where they asked me to complete a coding challenge and build up top of it and talk about time and space complexities. And I felt like I did pretty well on that. Um, my second interview was more of like technical questions. So I remember distinctly one of the questions was describe to me all of the elements in a full stack application. And luckily I had a lot of experience with full stack. So I felt like I did pretty well on that question. 
Um, and then my final interview was a behavioral where I was just asked about my past experiences, um, asked questions about like what if scenarios. So overall, I felt like it went really well. Um, and I actually did wind up receiving the offer from JP Morgan as well. Um, so yeah, really awesome day of interviewing. I had to get a picture in front of the iconic Grace Hopper celebration sign. And afterwards, I headed over to the closing ceremony to see Jesse J perform live. Then we took a big group picture in front of the stairs and went to dinner for our last night in Orlando. Here's a collection of all of the swag that I got while I was at the conference, so I definitely won't be running out of t-shirts anytime soon. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!